One of my favorite things on bedfish is to, first thing is to realize that these fish do not eat, okay? They take out of anger, they take out of territory. Um, it's very seldom that they actually will even eat a live crayfish when they're in this motion. Um, it, it's about uh, gender. It's really, it's kind of the male's trying to show off so that this female comes up and joins him. Uh, he needs to show that he's an alpha. He needs to pick the, the right spot that's near deep water. A lot of times you'll see males that'll be up real shallow and they're all over the place. I kind of look at the size of the nest. Um, what happens is the male will come in and begin the nest. He'll dig the nest to a certain size. The female is the one that really goes in and, and prepares that as she wants it. That's why when you catch a big female, you'll notice that her tail's really torn up. Um, she takes the brunt of the damage. What I like to do, again, I said I like to lo find locked fish. When I'm fun fishing, the locked fish is usually the one that's more territorial. He's easier to catch, okay? Um, I can catch him within a few minutes. An unlocked fish may take an hour. Um, you're gonna have some different techniques. You may try and get her angry. You may throw a swim bait up in there that challenges the territory. So I may pick up a bluegill swim bait and throw that bluegill in there and now she thinks it's another bluegill taking over that nest or coming in maybe to eat eggs or any, it's, it's that, that territory challenge. Um, a fish like this that tends to roam around that nest and not go to it as much is exceptionally tough to catch. Um, almost impossible to catch. So you're better off when you're fun fishing to just keep rolling. Go find fish that's locked and, and they're a lot easier to catch.